staying with us, taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam. Lots of sunshine. Starting to see some high clouds make their way on in, and we'll see some slow increase in those clouds as we head through the rest of this afternoon and on into this evening, and then eventually a chance for a few showers, maybe a rumble or two of thunder, better chances in the far north. 71 degrees right now, winds out of the northwest at around 7 miles per hour. They'll continue out of the west and northwest today around 5 to 15 miles per hour. 66 Valley City, 67 in the Jamestown area, 64 in Detroit Lakes, also 64 Fergus Falls, Thief River Falls, Roseau, and in the Bedett area, one more 64 up in Langdon, 75 degrees, however, down in the Sisseton area. Winds, again, generally light, 5 to 15 miles per hour, decent breeze out there, nothing to get too concerned about. We'll see those light winds as we head through much of the rest of the day. Most of the central and eastern valley, not too bad, but it's off towards the west where we're seeing the increase in some high clouds, but it's well off to the west where we start to see some rain showers across much of western North Dakota. And so we zoom on out to the northern plains. There are the uh, rain showers and they continue to make their way off towards the east and it's maybe a little bit due north of east. And we'll see that chance for a few showers and maybe a rumble or two of thunder as we head through the afternoon and evening hours. And another chance for some showers and storms as we head through the day tomorrow. Across the national map, we've got the rain showers and storms in western North Dakota and also quite a bit of rain making its way through the sunflower state of Kansas over towards the show me state of Missouri. Some locally heavy rain in central Missouri and that extends up into southern ports, parts of the uh, Great Lakes region. For us, as we head through the day today, much of the day pretty nice. It's later on today that we'll have that chance for some rain showers and again, maybe a rumble or two of thunder. The better chances the further north you go for the rest of us. We'll have a you know, partly cloudy skies and overnight tonight that chance for a few showers and the weak thunderstorms will slide off towards the east. Then a break in the action, at least for most of us, the northern valley may continue to see a few showers. And then as a cool front slides off towards the south tomorrow, we'll see another chance for some showers. And again, maybe an isolated rumble or two of thunder that'll bring in some cooler air to start the weekend. But as we wrap up the weekend, I think you're going to really like the temperatures we have on Sunday for the next couple of days. Today, that chance for a few showers and storms. Tomorrow, a little bit cooler with more clouds around and a chance for some showers and storms. And then check out the weekend. It is looking good. Low 70s Saturday, mid to upper 70s on Sunday and quiet and lots of sunshine on both days. But we cool it down just a bit. A touch of fall as we head through your Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday with highs in the 60s and lows in the 40s. Some areas in the northern valleys will likely see lows in the 30s. But you couldn't ask for better tailgating weather. No, oh it my looks goodness. really good this weekend. Yeah. Loving it. Yep. Thanks, Robert. Mm -hmm.